My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We got a real slick 1970 black Chevelle. Well, I don't need to tell you that, you can see it for yourself. But what I can tell you is these, these things fly off the shelf and I've been selling them for twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 more than what this one's priced at. If you go to volocars.com, you can read all the specs, study the pictures and get the price, not only on this one, but we do have a few hundred collector cars all for sale. Visit volocars.com. If you enjoy watching our videos, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But right now, join me. Let's go for a spin in this 70 Chevelle. It's got a 383 stroker under the hood. Wait till you hear it. It's got a built turbo 350 trans. It's just a nice setup for a nice cruise night type of car. It's not been body off frame restored, but underneath is real nice. It's an Atlanta, Georgia built car. The floors look to be really solid. Looks like real nice clean metal. The front end components are all clean. They don't look you know, brand new and detailed, but the ball joints and bushings, nothing's caked with grease. The front end components look like they're all real nice. Uh, in back, it's actually got a Hotchkiss sport suspension uh, kit. Uh, that includes the upper and lower control arms. They're tubular on the bottom. Uh, it's got a Hotchkiss sway bar. It's got new shocks. It's got a really nice sound and Flowmaster exhaust, really neatly installed with a crossover pipe. Uh, you look up at the motor, it, it looks fresh. Uh, this motor can't have many miles on it. it. It looks new. The freeze plugs, the fuel pump, the starter, it's a high torque starter. You know, when you look up at the motor, it's clean. It has a flywheel cover. Transmission also, it's a TCI Turbo 350. It all looks fresh. The, the shift cable, the transmission mount. Matter of fact, the transmission support, the big bar that holds it in is an aftermarket. It's got a chrome TCI pan on the bottom. Uh, fuel tank is new. Uh, it's got disc brakes in front. So everything underneath the car is really respectable. Uh, tuxedo black with the white stripes. They're painted on to the right dimensions. The paint is slick, really smooth and slick. The gaps are real nice. Uh, up here, I've pointed out on other 70 Chevelles. This is a tricky area. They fit really nice on this car. This hood is nice and square. Doors fit real nice. Right here, from this angle, it's a mirror. What I see in there is like, uh, like looking in a mirror, like a shave in this car. And there's actually, I did not even see it till I came in here. There's a little light metal flake in the paint. I didn't know if it was dust or metal flake, uh, but it has really tiny uh, metal flake in the paint. So it is smooth along the bottoms. Uh, I know when it was on the lift, I found some little bubbles somewhere. I'll find them again here. Trunk fits nice and square. The bumper, it's an SS bumper with the pad, the new tail light lenses, has the cowbell exhaust tips. All this is real nice. And it's all smooth over here. I feel some little, like tiny little bumps here and there. I thought it was worse than that. Yeah, it's all metal. So anyway, you might find a couple little bumps along the bottom. Uh, the vinyl top looks new. Obviously, it's got some big chrome hoops on it. They're Riddler wheels, uh, 20s in back. Up front here, uh, I think that says it's 18s, and I can't read it without my glasses. Uh, windshield's new. It's got a cowl induction hood, a little flapper door. It's not really hooked up, but it's there. It's cool looking. It's got hood pins. The bumper and the grill, all that's real nice. I just drove it over here from the other building. It's responsive. I mean, like crazy responsive. You just touch the gas, it's like, like wow, just boom, 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 like an electric car. Uh, so it's a 383 stroker, aluminum heads. Uh, it's an aluminum intake that looks like it's been powder coated. 
It's got a dual feed Howley with some real nice uh, fuel line. It's got a billet distributor with an MSC ignition. Uh, some coated headers. They're pretty cool headers. They're real windy, curvy headers. It's like new door uh, weather strips. The door jams are painted nice. The rear window is original. There's some light scratches. You're looking at the speaker tray. It looks nice. This is real clean. It's got a spare mounted down nicely. It's got a jack. It's got a new mat. All painted up real nice. Uh, weather strips real nice. It's got the quarters been cut off. Both sides, they, they spliced in new quarters right about up here. Got bucket seats, console. It's got a B&M uh, shifter in the console. But it looks like the door panels, seat upholstery, all the seat trim. That all looks new. Dome light works. Headliner looks new. Has a deluxe steering wheel. It has a, a complete carbon fiber instrument panel with a matching set of white gauges. I don't see there's no stereo in there. There's a place for one, but there's no hole or anything, but you, you can cut a hole. Um, so it's got power steering, power brakes. The whole power brake unit looks new. Uh, looks like an aluminum water pump. It's silver. Uh, everything's tidy. All looks good. Your battery's bolted down. Got braided stainless uh, hoses going to the transmission cooler in front of the radiator. It does have a conduction air cleaner, and I actually see the little electric solenoid up in the flapper door. So if you wanted to make that work, you could. It's got seat belts, got reproduction floor mats. Why don't we fire it up? You're going to like this. I liked it. Seats feel real nice. They must have new cushion. Got a nice cam, a nice sound. Another one sounds like a race car. It's responsive, like instant. It's got speakers down in the kick panels, so it must have had a stereo at one time. Ooh, see it's blowing some condensation out the pipes. I just made a mess of the floor. Up here, the motor's quiet as a mouse. You want all the noise out back, but you don't want the noise at the motor. bet this is going to be a really fun car. I think I underpriced it. I bet it sells quick. So you better get to volocars.com. I just gave you my impression of the car. But if you go to the website, plenty of ways to contact the salesman. They will help answer any questions or concerns you have about the car, uh, the process, the shipping, the financing, the paperwork. They'll make all that real easy for you. If you just enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.